Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeanette Michelli with Waste Management. Today, I'm here with our VP of Renewable Energy, Paul Paber, and we're here to tell you about the Redwood Landfill Landfill Gas to Energy Plant. We are having a special ribbon cutting today with our partners at MCE, and we wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at exactly how a landfill gas to energy plant works. So without further ado, Paul, tell me about this facility behind us, but tell me, what's this over here? Okay, Jeanette, the main source of the fuel is the Redwood Landfill, which receives organic waste, and the organic waste decomposes through anaerobic digestion and produces methane gas. As you know, natural gas is composed of methane, so any application that uses natural gas could be offset by natural methane from the biogas um, from anaerobic decomposition. Okay, so we are in California, and so maybe a question you might have is, well, wait a minute, aren't, or aren't organics being separated from trash and recycling? They are, so how are we able to collect the landfill gas given that organics are in a separate waste stream? Redwood Landfill has been open for a number of years, and so the organic waste in the landfill continues to decompose. So we're making use of all the organic waste that's been placed in this landfill already, as well as the small component that will continue to be placed in the landfill. Great, so um, tell me about all these black tubes or pipes that we see back here. In order to collect the methane from the waste body, we put in uh, wells okay. that go down to the extent of the waste and those wells are attached to a header pipe. You can see the header pipe around the landfill up there. We put a vacuum on that and it extracts the methane gas from the landfill. Okay, so that brings us to these <laughs> large tanks, would you call them? <laughs> yes, uh, vessels. They, uh, there's some components of landfill gas that not only cause higher maintenance in the engines, but also uh, would foul up our emissions control at the back end of this particular uh, plant. Okay. And so the first vessels here are carbon media and they extract hydrogen sulfide from the gas. Okay, so let's uh, move in and, and take a closer look here. The, uh, another component that is in landfill gas is siloxane, which comes from silicon-based materials that are placed in the landfill. And so there's a siloxane media in here, an adsorption media that takes out the siloxane. And then the final polishing step, two more uh, vessels down on the end. And those again are carbon media, which polishes up the uh, final amount of siloxane and sulfur. So in essence, we're taking the landfill gas in from the landfill and we're purifying it to um, actually be able to produce the energy? That's right. We're taking out the elements that might cause either higher maintenance or uh, fouling of the emissions control system. Okay. And then some com components you see behind there are uh, the uh, compressor that we use to put the vacuum on the well field, and then a chiller that we use to dehydrate the landfill gas and take out the moisture. Okay, and I noticed that you've got the pipes marked with how the landfill gas is coming into the facility. That's right, it comes in the front end of this whole complex here, and uh, by the time it's dehydrated and the sulfur and siloxane are removed, it goes through this final entry pipe and under building there into the engine. Okay, so talking about producing electricity, uh, many people may be not familiar with the fact that landfill gas is actually renewable energy. So along with wind, and solar, which obviously right now the sun's not out, um, wind really isn't blowing, but with our landfill gas facility, um, it's producing 24 hours a day, right Paul? That's right. The methane continuously comes out of the landfill, it uh, provides a continuous source of fuel, and the engines are running 24-7. We typically will have uh, run rates of over 95%. Okay. So, what produces the energy here, Paul? Can we take a closer look at the engines, maybe put on some safety sure. glasses and go inside? These are two Caterpillar engines. We'll just go we'll underneath. Just go underneath. <laughs> Join us, Ed. Wow. These, these engines are just like the engines in your car. They're reciprocating engines. They have 20 cylinders apiece. 
They are rated at over 2,600 horsepower. Okay, maybe we can walk along the and, side uh, to get a, our viewers in. Wow. So this is an engine. Yeah. How much power does the, one of these produce? 2,600 horsepower. Instead of turning wheels like your car engine does, it turns a generator, and the generator's uh, rated at about 2 megawatts of power. Okay, so um, I see we have two in here, so we have almost 4 megawatts of power from this power plant. That's great. And uh, again, all the uh, typical components of, of a reciprocating engine in your car, the intake manifold, the turbochargers, the, uh, you can see the next place we'll go, we've got engine exhaust going out to the back of the building. Well, that's great, Paul. Do you have any questions so far from our viewers, Ed? No. Okay, great. So we'll take a, another look here um, while we head out. Um, maybe um, give us some uh, more stats on, on the plant as we're walking over to the next uh, call. Um, well, all of the uh, used oil, all of the new oil is, is in vessels over there. We've got them hard piped to the engines, which uh, not only reduces our downtime for the engines, but also uh, improves the safety of operations for the engines. And I, uh, the, the four megawatts here produces enough power for about 5,000 homes in town. Okay, should we just go out the back door? Is that the easier yeah, way to kind of see where the exhaust goes out and, and some of the additional steps we take? So these, um, I guess let's talk maybe a little bit about a preview of what folks are going to see, some of the things that uh, once the, the power is generated here. Power is generated here, and uh, it goes into the generators. The generators are hooked up into a distribution system for Marin County, so it's going straight from the power plant to the distribution and the local community. Okay, and we're working with um, Marin Clean Energy on this Marin facility. Marin Clean Energy is purchasing the power and uh, they have a, a very well-established and aggressive program for all types of renewable energy, and, and they have uh, seen landfill gas as one component of that. Great. All right, well, let's head outside, everybody. All right, so um, let's take a look back at the building here. And so we, we had the engine exhaust heading out. Yeah, the big silver pipe coming out is the engine exhaust, and it goes through the uh, catalytic converter there, the uh, silver box over there that reduces the nitrogen oxides and the carbon monoxide from the exhaust. Uh, the engines are already rated for very low emissions, and this takes them even lower. Okay, well, let's um, go ahead and take a closer look. So, Paul, I understand uh, we operate about 130 facilities across North America, but this one's a little special being our, our newest one. Can you um, remind our viewers about the additional steps that are taken here at this facility that help purify the landfill gas? Yeah, all the things we've already talked about, the sulfur removal, the siloxane removal, and, and then the exhaust treatment are unique for us for this site. Um, we own 70 now of these power plants across the country, and this is the only one where we've installed this emissions control. Great. And so that's this extra step here that we see in the box before. That's, right. um, that's I guess, the, and the last the part of the exhaust. System with, with the silencer on top. Great. And the, uh, the units in the background here, this, this unit here, again, just like the engine in your car, we, uh, we have a radiator that cools the, the, uh, the water from the engines. Great. The coolant water. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We really appreciate your time and interest. Um, certainly we are North America's largest operator of landfill gas to energy plants. Very proud to be able to show you a behind the scenes look here at Redwood Landfill in Nevada, California. So thanks again. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.